Doctrine, Instructions, and Blessings of Conference. Welcome. Kingdoms of Glory by President Dallin H. Oaks. Doctrine. All children of God will ultimately inherit one of three kingdoms of glory. All will be resurrected and proceed to the final judgment of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Savior will send all the children of God to one of these kingdoms of glory according to the desires manifested through their choices. God's plan of happiness began with our life as spirits before we were born, and it reveals the purpose and conditions of our chosen journey in mortality and our desired destination thereafter. All kingdoms have a law given, and the kingdom of glory we receive in the final judgment is determined by the laws we choose to follow in our mortal journey. Under that loving plan, there are multiple kingdoms, many mansions, so that all of God's children will inherit a kingdom of glory whose laws they can comfortably abide. Gender is an essential characteristic of individual, premortal, mortal, and eternal identity and purpose. In the celestial glory, there are three levels, of which the highest is exaltation in the celestial kingdom. Those in the terrestrial kingdom are they who receive of the presence of the Son, but not of the fullness of the Father. Those assigned to the celestial describes those who rejected the Savior and have observed no divine limits on their behavior. The family proclamation defines the mortal family relationship where the most important part of our eternal development can occur. The Lord's teachings and commandments were given that we may all attain the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. We qualify for eternal life through a process of conversion. The millennium will be a time to perform the required ordinances for those who have not received them in their mortal lives. Salvation is an individual matter, but exaltation is a family matter. Instructions we must act so that we are converted by the gospel of Jesus Christ. The commandments, ordinances, and covenants of the gospel are not a list of deposits required to be made in some heavenly account. The gospel of Jesus Christ is a plan that shows us how to become what our Heavenly Father desires us to become. Blessings. Revealed commandments and covenants offer all the children of God the sacred privilege of qualifying for the highest degree of glory in the celestial kingdom. That highest destination is exaltation in the celestial kingdom. Through revelation, God has revealed the eternal laws, ordinances, and covenants that must be observed to develop the godly attributes necessary to realize the divine potential to dwell in the presence of God and his Christ forever and ever. A uniquely valuable teaching to help us prepare for exaltation is the 1995 Proclamation on the Family. During this mortal life, you get to choose which laws you are willing to obey, those of the celestial kingdom or the terrestrial or the celestial, and therefore in which kingdom of glory you will live forever. The gospel of Jesus Christ challenge us to become something. When we fall short in this life, we can repent and rejoin the covenant path that leads to what our Heavenly Father desires for us. The dead who repent will be redeemed through obedience to the ordinances of the house of God. We have a loving Heavenly Father who will see that we receive every blessing and every advantage that our own desires and choices allow we also know that he will force no one into a sealing relationship against his or her will. The blessings of a sealed relationship are assured for all who keep their covenants, but never by forcing a sealed relationship on another person who is unworthy or unwilling. This is an independent podcast based on my knowledge and ability. For greater understanding and knowledge, I invite you to read or to listen to the talk in its entirety found on the official page of the church, churchofjesuschrist.org.